Wait, what is my what is my super? I need exceed mode. I don't even know how to get exceed mode. Is this exceed mode now? Maximum? There! Yes! Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. As you know, recently I've been enjoying playing games on my PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast and one particular game that I'm quite excited about playing, well, in addition to this, which I've been playing on other videos as well, Capcom vs SNK 2. I picked up these two games for the PS2. Now, the reason I did that is because one, I've never played this game before, SVC Chaos, SNK vs Capcom. Well, the problem with playing games on this, the PS2, is that I usually have to play on this controller the DualShock 2. So this is a wired controller that has this shaped plug. It's not USB and this is the sort of plug that were used for PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 consoles back in the day. Well, in collaboration with Brook Accessories, they sent me this for the purposes of making this video. I didn't buy it. They sent it to me. It is the Brook Controller Super Converter that sends a PS4 controller, so most of what you see there, or apparently Switch Pro or Xbox One controller into PS2 adapter shape. So I want this shape, but I only have USB coming out of those, those controllers. So, super excited to unbox this and see how well it works. Now, if you haven't seen the Dreamcast video, the main thing you need to know is that this turns modern PS4 or Switch Pro or Xbox One controllers or PS3 controllers into the shape that goes into your PS2. Essentially, that's all you really need to know, but we will go through some of the other features that allow you to do some cool things, like re-map the buttons, or for example, turn it from a PS2 adapter into an X input adapter. Maybe those sticks there only worked on PS3, or maybe they only worked on PS4. This will allow them to work on your PC as well, because they've got the PS4 input here. It's also got a PC, I guess this is a PC output. But this is what I'm most interested in. It's the PS2 to plug on one end and USB on the other end. Now one thing before we start, I'm actually going to run the firmware update because I know that certain sticks like this, this is the Victrix Pro that I use, it doesn't, sometimes they don't work without the firmware update because, you know, between the time that they released this, maybe, I don't know, a year ago or two years ago, whenever they released this, they may have done like a firmware update that allows more controllers to work, which is a nice thing about this company, actually. They're frequently updating these products with features that they didn't have a few years ago and then simply through this free firmware update. You like get new features for this product that you bought ages ago. All right, as you can see, I've now got the Brook Converter hooked up to my PS2 and I've done the firmware update. And actually, if you're interested to know, this controller is functioning. So actually, I wasn't 100% sure if they'd updated all their converters to work for the Victrix Pro, but it is functioning with my PS2. Going through this, the Brook Converter will be trying out a few more of the features in a moment. This particular game, SVC Chaos is unlike this game, Capcom vs SNK2, this game only ran in 480 interlaced, which meant that you had some weird visual artifacts on screen. If the screen was shaken, it would give you a bit of a headache. This game that we've got loaded up on the screen right now, this is SVC, SVC Chaos, SNK vs Capcom, and yes, it does have a 480p progressive mode. Now, as I've mentioned, I've never played this game before, but I've always heard of it. I actually thought this game was never released. When I was a kid, I heard that Capcom and SNK were both making their own console version of the game, where it would mix Capcom and SNK characters in a more Capcom style in this game, Capcom vs SNK, or in Capcom vs SNK 2, but I, I never thought that the SNK version actually came out, and by that point I wasn't really playing a lot of fighting games. So this is actually going back to a game that would have come out around, you know, the time when I was a kid playing games, but I never actually got to try it. The idea here is it's like Capcom vs SNK, but with a slightly more SNK style. As you can see, pr I'm pretty sure that every single one of these characters has been redrawn in an SNK style. It's completely different to the way that Capcom's drawn their characters. The way that SNK has drawn the Capcom characters is wildly, wildly different to what you would expect from a Capcom game. It looks very much like these characters belong in an SNK game. Just Guile's hair. This is absolutely hilarious. So let's go ahead and see. How does the controller feel? Oh, brilliant. Well, as expected, no delay or anything. Not feeling any kind of delay. Whoa! The animation of Ryu's l leg when he kicks looks bizarre. All right, it seems unlike the Dreamcast controller, I don't need to worry about an arcade stick and a controller pad mode because on the original PS2 stick, as you can see here, the original PS2 stick also had L1, L2, R1, and R2. 
So it's not like you have to change the modes between the R1 L1 setting and the R1 L1 setting like this. You can change it on the Dreamcast mode, on the Dreamcast converter, but on this converter, it's not, it looks like that's not really necessary. I've got Light Punch on Square, Light Kick on cross, strong punch on triangle, strong kick on circle. So the first thing that I needed to learn about this game is that it doesn't use it doesn't use six buttons to fight like Capcom versus SNK. It goes to the standard SNK layout, which is light punch, light kick, strong punch, strong kick. It's so strange to have to have a Capcom character without six buttons. So wait a minute, what's was Capcom vs SNK 1? Did that only have four buttons as well? I can't remember. Oh, interesting. So I can get my old medium kick back by holding down back. Down back strong kick. Woo, that's freaky. I have got the super jump, which was a classic for SNK games. I don't seem to have a short hop. Maybe the Capcom characters don't get short hops. All right. I have no idea what's going on. I think it's time to read the instruction manual. Right, you can unlock some secret characters like Evil Ken and Zero. How do I do this? So I got the right cheat codes. Apparently you just hold down R1 and you can select these, these other characters. You can select Zero from Rockman Zero. This looks amazing. Look at that tiny little projectile. <laughs> it's like a raging demon. I love it. What? What was that? Oh, sweet. I've got the the Grand Jesus Slash from Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Oh, it does a th I can do a three hit slash. Ha ha ha. This character is amazing. Who is Mars People? I've got to try that. What the heck is this from? Wait a minute. This is from... Metal Slug? I'm guessing Metal Slug. Ew, look at the way he moves. This is so strange. What? I feel like I'm playing Clay Fighter. <laughs> I would love to be a main, a Mars people main. What does Mars people even mean? Are there multiple people in this one body? All right, last character I want to try before we leave this game is Violent Ken. No, we can't have this stage because I can barely see. <laughs> Look at that flashing light effect now. That is a high quality... That's ray tracing right there. Forget PS5. We got ray tracing on SVC Chaos. Sorry, no, we can't play on this stage. This game died and went to heaven. <laughs> what is this? All right, what you got? Violent Ken. We've got a DP on kick. What the heck? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, and he does the Iori thing at the end. This game is so dark. What is going on? One more thing that I want to show you, because although essentially the buttons on here are the same as a PS2, so I don't really need to remap any of my buttons, although it is possible. One thing that I can show you is the turbo feature. I'm going to press PS and select, and you can see the light has gone off. I want my light punch to be turbo, so I'm going to hold down select and press square, then I'm going to press start to save it, and then the PS button to go back in here, and let's see if I am now playing with turbo buttons. Sweet! Okay, I guess in a fighting game, maybe if you're just testing to see if certain combos work, if you're trying to see if certain rush combos work, this might be useful, but obviously, in general, you're unlikely to need this in, a, in an actual in an actual match. Arcade mode, let's go. Oh, it's got a story mode as well. Fireball. Saber. Let's just charge this. Bosh. Oh, they've got two health gauges. Help. Oh my lord! Watch me do the slide super. Yes! This game's amazing! And it definitely feels more like an SNK versus Capcom rather than a King of Fighters versus Street Fighter. Not that there's a problem with either. Wow! I love it! I love this character. Bring this character into whatever fighting is are, are modern. Put this character in Grand Blue. That's quite, that's why I've chosen him. 
feels like a Grand Blue character. <laughs> and you still get help from that that helper, you know, like assistant character from Mega Man Zero. Ow, help! Help, I don't know what to do with the character with Oh, yes! Oh, ow, ooh. Yeah, it's like super. Ouch! Ooh, help! <gasps> this is all I got. Oh no, time over. What? All right, let's do something crazy. Let's play. Let's play Ryu. Ouch! I'm assuming there are no air blocks in this game. Shinku Hadoken. Help! No, what? You can't touch it through that? Come on. Oh, oh. Yes. Wow, that was an amazing light kick. It sent him flying the other way. So awesome to be able to use a, a PS4 stick on a PS2. I think I've got a Shinryuken. Not Shinryuken. This one? Oh, no, not that one. Well, I mean, I've got that as well, I guess. Street Fighter with two buttons. <gasps> yes, right at the last minute. Haha, <laughs> sick. All right. Hmm? What? I didn't even see it. Was there an attack? Where was it? Oh, there it is. This is my new move! I wake up and I'm just like a tornado in my face. Just eat fireball! Yes! No! Oh, if he gets me with super now, I'll be so upset. <gasps> Yes! Okay, we got this. Super. Let's go! Sweep! Yes! This game's alright. I like it. I haven't played against any human players yet, but... And the graphics are really cool. Seeing Capcom characters in a real SNK style. I like it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That was a cool animation. Oh, <gasps> missed. Oh, I let go. Fortunately, I threw. Wait, what is my what is my super? I need exceed mode. I don't even know how to get exceed mode. Is this exceed mode now? Maximum? There! Yes! Right when I needed it. So I guess when it says maximum, that's exceed mode. Alright. How many stages are in this? Uh-oh. Ryu versus Ryu. Ouch! Ouch! Ooh! Super tattoo! Yeah! Oh no! Yes! Screenshots don't do this game justice. You gotta try it. I think, to be honest, when I would see, when I originally saw the characters in screenshots, I was like, uh, they look really kind of dark and grimy in a sort of SNK style. The, the Capcom characters looked kind of bizarre to me. Whoops. Uh oh. Oh no. Please just stay away from me. Oh no. No, like time over. Oh god. <gasps> what? Just 
take advantage of my fireball, I think. Oh no! Didn't have time to block. <gasps> Not enough time. Can't do enough damage. Unless... Oh, darn. Come on. The Shrine SNK character I've never seen before. I think it's gotta be Mars people. <laughs> that was the story mode. Beep, 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 beep. Look at that gun. It looks like an accessory for the Dreamcast. Let's just sweep him to death. It seems to be working. And every now and then we'll do the come on jump. Oh no! Sweep! Come on jump! Oh! He dp What's my other super? Here we go. Four down back, four down back. Punch. Eat this, Ryu! Oh no! It's gone! Did we win? Oh nah. Okay, Morris people was a, was a mistake. One last one. One last one with someone else. Let's use another secret character. Dan! I haven't played as Dan since, like, alpha games. Well, Dan's face looks really funny. Dan, what's up with your face? Duh! Go oh, <laughs> Godoken. Godoken versus Godoken. Haha! <laughs> Haha! <laughs> the Godoken hit someone! Dan, 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 Dan! Dan, Dan! Didn't reach. None of my buttons move. None of my buttons reach. Dan was a mistake. And then he sits on the ground. He's like upset. <laughs> Just sits there doing the rest of his move, even though no one's there. We gotta come up with something clever. No. Whew. SVC Chaos. SNK versus Capcom. Made possible, not only because of the OSSC, which is the device that is making my PS2 run into my computer, my monitor right now, for making this video, but also because of this, the Brook controller super converter this one is for ps3 ps4 switch pro or xbox one controllers into ps classic or the ps2 obviously you can change custom buttons but it's not really a necessary feature because most of these games are wired up the same as on this controller like before like on the dreamcast converter that i was using there are extra buttons on here that didn't really exist or weren't mapped properly on on a on most Dreamcast games, but the number of buttons on the on this arcade stick is actually pretty much the same number of buttons that is available on this, the DualShock 2, the controller that normally you would play on PS2. I would not want to have like tried SVC Chaos for the first time with a pad. I'd, I probably would have got the the wrong idea about the game, but this way I was able to enjoy it the way it should be enjoyed with an arcade stick thanks to this adapter. So thank you very much to Brooke for providing it. This isn't really a review, it's just trying to show you that the adapter does work and it's so much, there's so many great PS2 games and PlayStation 1 games that I'd love to go back to, but I probably didn't bother because I didn't have an arcade stick, but now I can kind of justify playing more on the PS2 now that I can plug my, you know, tons of my PS3 or PS4 arcade sticks into it, or even I guess Switch Pro or Xbox One controllers. The next thing I probably want to try in a separate video is this. This is Street Fighter Zero, Fighter's Generation, but it's actually called in the West. It's called Street Fighter Anniversary Anthology. An anthology Anniversary? No, Anniversary Anthology. And it's unlike the 30th Anniversary Collection, which doesn't have training modes for a lot of those games. I believe that this version probably does have training modes, but I don't have time to check it out right now. Maybe I'll try that in a future video or stream. For now, if you're interested in getting this adapter to plug arcade sticks and the like, DS, you know, DualShock 4, PlayStation 4 controllers into your PS2, do check the links below. Brooke has provided with, the, with some links so that you can purchase one if you're interested to do so. This was a great opportunity to try a new game. And it's like, I mean, it's an old game. It came out in 2003, 17 years ago. That was tons of fun. I didn't even get a chance to try Guile. 
I'll have to wait until the stream today when I can do that. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links and all that great stuff. If you're not already a member of the Discord, I'll leave a link below so you can come and be part of the Nihongo Gamer community, chat with people about gear, arcade games, fighting games, anime, manga, drawing, all that sorts of stuff. Follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates for when the streams go live. And if you're not already, follow me on Twitch where we do live streams. And probably the next time I play this, it will be on a live stream on Twitch or something. See you all next time.